Oh. Alright, YouTube, it's Shadow King King Nazu. I'm here with a review of Rosario Vampire 2, Chapter 39. Wow, things got really, really dark in this chapter. And somewhat depressing, too. We see. We see Kurumu running off, uh, praying that Skune won't go with the human modification uh, procedure uh, because there's a low chance of success and it could possibly kill him. And she, he doesn't, she doesn't feel that it's worth it even if it is to save Melka. But Kurumu starts to become weakened and collapses it and passes out in an alley. Joel Fuhai, uh gave Skune uh, circuit-like tattoos for the procedure and he sets up a barrier around Skune uh, so nobody would come in and he can't come out. Uh, and then he transforms back to his true younger self and uh, offers uh, Skune a final out. But Skune is committed to this so he can d defeat Aqua Shuzen and save her sister, Mocha. Uh, skin, uh, Tohau sticks a needle in his shoulder, and his shoulder starts to flex like putty or clay or liquid metal, and it causes him great pain, but he doesn't uh, make a sound. And this uh, kind of bravery and endurance kind of uh, earns Tohau Fuhai's respect. Uh, Tohau says that he is using a needle uh, with threads made of his own monster energy uh, to sew and reconstruct Skune's cells uh, so that he'll be able to use uh, the dark arts that monsters can use and he will have a chance to use techniques like the Jig and Tao. Uh, he says that he needs to stick 109 needles and each one of them will continue to uh, cause more pain to him. Uh, and as he continues to feel pain uh, he finally does scream, and uh, this causes Kurumi to wake up. And she wakes up in Gen's uh, arms, but, but relax, he didn't do anything. And she and he asks if uh, if Kurumi is okay. Then we cut to Mizure telling Ruby is she worried about Kurumi. Uh, and Ruby says that. Uh, they can sense that Skune is only thinking about Mocha at the moment, and that maybe that's why Kurumu is so distraught and uh, wonders if Mizure is the same. Uh, fortunately, we get a bit of character development for Mizure. Well, as far as Mizure can go, uh, saying that uh, she says that she's resolved to be at Skune's side even if he picks another lover, especially Mocha. Um, that I like that bit. Even though that's a bit, a bit of still a bit of her stalker personality, it is a bit of maturity because she's willing to accept that Skune could possibly love someone else, but she won't let that hinder uh, how much she cares about him, and uh, probably will be a dear friend, and I'll be that be at his side. That's I really like that. Unfortunately, uh, things are different for Kurumu. And this is one of the saddest things I've heard. Kurumu explains that the succubi, her species, lives literally lives on love. Uh, they use it for their life force and power. And if they aren't loved by their destined ones, which is Skune, since she chose him as her destined one, then they'll die. So Kurumu is literally becoming weaker and weaker until she'll fade and just die. Okay, then let's get to this chapter. So, Gen, uh, trying to be decent, uh, tells Kurumu to forget Skune and try to find another lover. I'm not entirely sure if she can because I think that rejection would probably kill her. And Kurumu senses uh, Skune's in pain and rushes to see him. Toa Fuhai says that there's only one needle left and it has to be aimed at his heart. But 
he sees Skinny has lost consciousness already from the 108 needles and suspends the operation while commending Skinny man to even get that far, even for, I mean, especially for a human. But Skinny suddenly uh, wakes up and has monster energy flowing through him as he, he begins to transform. Kurumu arrives to see that Skinny has turned into uh, a new monstrous form into a jet black winged ghoul form and this new form is so powerful that he has already defeated Toha Fuhai. Wow, this chapter was heavy. Uh, we got to see just the severe situation that Skinny, even though he's not aware of it, just what situation he's in. Some of these girls um, depend on him for companionship's sake or to help them to help their species continue, but Kurumu is on a whole different level. She actually needs Skune to love her because she has chosen him to be his destined one, and if she gets rejected, she'll literally die. It, it makes me really feel for Kurumu, and I re part of me really wants her to uh, to be with Skune. Um. And it was pretty nice to see that Skinny uh, has a form that's so powerful it can even defeat a Dark Lord. So, and we all know that it's from Mocha's blood, the Shinzo power. So this is also the same power as Dracula has. So Skinny is channeling into the power of Dracula. And that, we'll see just how powerful he'll become in later chapters. So, Skinny Nazar is signing off. And we'll check out what goes on in chapter 40.